Hello, my name is Warren Hill and I'm a product specialist at Gasco. Gasco, in an effort to better educate our customers and add additional value, has developed a best practices training series. Our intentions are to better explain, better educate, and to ensure a helpful understanding of what gas regulators are and discuss their normal operation. Gasco represents three major manufacturers of combustion gas regulators. They are Census Metering Systems, Pietro Fiorentini, and Maxitrol. In this series, we hope to answer any questions that you might have. If you have questions or require additional information, please feel free to contact Gasco toll free at 1-877-427-7347 or through our website at gascoonline.com. In this regulator education segment, we will be discussing overpressure protection of regulators and gas delivery systems. Regulators are mechanical devices. Mechanical devices have potential to fail. These types of mechanical devices can fail open, closed, or partially open closed, depending on the type of failure that takes place. Because mechanical devices have the potential to fail, overpressure protection on gas regulators and gas delivery systems are always strongly suggested. The most common and basic methods of overpressure protection are internal relief valves, or an IRV, the control monitor regulator installation assembly, OPDs, or overpressure devices, and slam shuts, external safety relief valves, and external safety pressure switches. An internal relief valve, or IRV, is an opening in the center of a diaphragm that is held closed by a smaller IRV spring. If the pressure under the diaphragm were to increase higher than the IRV spring, the IRV will open and exhaust gas to the outside of the gas system through the vent connection. Normally, the IRV spring will relieve at approximately 9 inches of water column over what the set pressure of the regulator is. Under normal operation, there should not be gas on top side of the diaphragm except when the IRV is operating properly, or if there has been a mechanical failure such as a ruptured diaphragm. External debris can cause improper operation of the IRV. For example, if the valve were not able to close off completely, perhaps by a shaving from the plastic pipe, the downstream pressure would continue to increase. If the increased pressure under the diaphragm was not able to pressure the valve pad further into the orifice to stop the flow, the pressure under the diaphragm would eventually exceed the IRV spring. The IRV would open and begin to relieve gas to the outside. Gas would continue to exhaust until the problem is remedied. The control monitor system. It's a method of providing overpressure protection by installing two regulators in series, both sensing pressure after the outlet of the downstream regulator. In the event of an operating regulator failure, the monitor regulator begins to operate at a slightly higher set pressure. OPDs are overpressure protection devices. OPDs operate very similarly as the control monitor safety system. OPDs are manufactured as part of the control regulator assembly. In a case where the operating regulator fails, the OPD will take over and keep gas flowing to the downstream equipment. The flow will be at an elevated pressure over what the normal operating pressure is. The OPD pressure should always be at set at a pressure that is less than what the maximum inlet pressure is for the downstream equipment. An external relief valve is a standalone valve installed in a piping system to limit the amount of pressure buildup in the event of an unplanned pressure increase. The valve is typically installed downstream of a regulator. If the regulator fails to control the flow of gas, the external relief valve will vent the gas to a location outside the gas system. The relief valve is set to open and relieve the excess pressure at a set amount above the regulator's delivery pressure, depending upon the maximum amount of pressure the downstream can withstand. A safety shutoff or slam shut valves. This type of safety shutoff valve is typically plumbed in a line downstream of the gas regulator sensing the regulated pressure of the gas line. If the pressure goes up above set point, 
the shutoff valve will trip or slam shut, shutting off the flow of gas. Most safety shutoff valves almost always require being manually reset. Overpressure switches. They're typically electronic in nature. They can be manual or automatic reset. They can be tied into alarm system to alert or sound alarms if the pressure either rises above the set point or goes below. If you have questions or require additional information, please feel free to contact Gaskell toll free at 1-877-427-7347 or through our website at gaskoonline.com.